Hi everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video and in today's video I want to show you some of the benefits that you get when you use Microsoft OneNote together with Microsoft SharePoint. So this is my OneNote notebook for a different uh, group of people that I'm involved with, the human resources team. But let's say that we started up a team for a particular client that um, we were going to help that client out with different things, propose different pieces of information to them, different projects to them, etc. Well, one of the things we would probably do is go out to our SharePoint environment and create a new SharePoint site. Now, as you can see here, I'm using the SharePoint online version that's offered through Office 365, but you can create a site in pretty much any of the latest few versions of SharePoint and get a lot of the same benefits that you're going to see with this little exercise here. So I click on create site and I make a site for the team that's involved here. And I'll go ahead and call this site something like uh, Acme Corp Support. So everybody who's involved in supporting the Acme Corp client that we have is going to have a group email address now in Office 365 of Acme Corp Support. And additionally, they're going to make a new site at the SharePoint.com slash sites slash Acme Corp Support. Now when I click on next down here, it'll ask me who else is going to be part of this team. And let's say that Jacqueline and Alejandro and June are all part of the team that's involved with supporting Acme Corp. So I click finish here and a new SharePoint site is created, which will allow me to collaborate with the rest of the people who are working on this particular project. But because it's Office 365, you'll notice over here on the left that it instantly has an entry called Notebook. Now, if you are using one of the earlier versions of Microsoft SharePoint, you'll still have your document library here called Documents, or uh, an earlier version sometimes is called Shared Documents. And when you go to Documents, you can always here decide to upload your um, your OneNote notebook if you'd like. So you can still put a OneNote notebook into any SharePoint site by uploading it and then you can still get the same interaction that you're going to see here. But as you can see because I'm using Office 365 I now have this notebook entry and it instantly opens an online version of Microsoft OneNote and it tells me there is a support notebook right here that the rest of my team can immediately collaborate on. To see this in action, I'm going to now pop open Alejandro's account so we can see that Alejandro can also get to the same notebook. So here's left and right. On the right is Neil, on the left is Alejandro. As you can see, Alejandro's gotten into the Acme Corp support site right here. And if I come in here, you'll notice that he can also go to the OneNote notebook. And so in here, you can see that there are sections and pages and all that other information that is saved into Microsoft OneNote. And both Alejandro and myself have a link right here that says I can open this notebook natively inside of OneNote as well. So let me go ahead and do that as Neil over here on the right. I'll click on open in OneNote and then say yes, please open it in OneNote 2016, and then yes, I do actually want OneNote to open this OneNote notebook off the SharePoint site. And just like that, I have a OneNote notebook for the Acme Corp support that has nothing in it. So I'll go in here and I'll say the first section is called Initial Planning, then Proposals, implementation, and assessment. Okay, so now I have four tabs here inside of the OneNote uh, desktop app. <clears throat> in initial planning, maybe I'll come in here and add some uh, first meeting conversations you know, add some information here. We talked about it, we talked about it, we talked about it, we wrote notes about this, etc. And then in the top left-hand corner, all 
you know, throughout this, you'll see that teeny tiny little green bubble right there on top of the notebook telling you that it's syncing back to the SharePoint site. So it's constantly talking to the SharePoint site and letting the, it know what kinds of implementations, what kind of changes were happening inside of the desktop app. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in SharePoint here. And you can see both Alejandro and Neil are able to see the initial planning section. They're able to see the first meeting and conversation page and able to see the content of that. So we have this live interaction where, let's say for example here, I go into uh, these sections. Let's go to implementation. Let's make a page called uh, first project implementation. So this is Alejandro going online, deciding that the first page of the implementation section is called first project implementation and has some content in it. Uh, Neil over here on the online version is instantly seeing that. And then Neil with the version that is open inside of the desktop app right here, if I go over to implementation and I wait for it to refresh, I will see that this page will be renamed as first project implementation and then right here you can see that the entry is listed as being created by Alejandro Ochoa. Not only that, but up here on the history tab at the top of the screen, I also have the ability to go in and choose find by author. And using Find by Author, I can see that both Alejandro and Neil have created content in this OneNote notebook. And I can go back and I can find those changes as well as seeing what date they were created on. And again, I can close that panel down. Now, one of my biggest issues here is, let's say I'm in my OneNote notebook, I've got this first page where we're talking about the first conversations we had, and then I realize, oh, you know what, um, I have this meeting coming up, why don't we just inject the details of that meeting directly into this page? I'll go over here and hit Add Page, so here's my blank page. And right up here at the top of the screen, I have the ability to add meeting details. And interestingly enough, I have this meeting where I'm doing client onboarding at 2 o'clock this afternoon. So I click on it and it instantly throws all the details about that meeting, who's attending that meeting, all that other information directly into this page of the notebook. And again, anybody who's seeing this online will be able to see the client onboarding meeting details just like that. We'll be able to contribute notes to this, whether they're in the online version or the desktop version. And then here's what's great about it. Let's think about this from the perspective of the team, right? Somebody new joins this team, I probably add them to the SharePoint site. That is for Acme Corp, right? This is a whole SharePoint site devoted to the things we're doing to support Acme Corp. So it makes a ton of sense that somebody who's onboarding here, we'd tell them, hey, go over to the notebook and you'll see all the information that we have accumulated about this client. You'll be able to go back and read through all the meetings that we had through the client onboarding meetings, through the meetings we had with this person or that person, all the details, they're all saved in this location. And if you want to, since this is going to be so integral to your life day to day, why don't you go ahead and click that link that says open it in OneNote. That way you've got a desktop version of this that you can access whenever you want. So this kind of back and forth integration between the browser and the desktop version with automatically sharing it with anybody who joins a team and being able to, to have this as a repository of information is incredibly valuable.